this is kind of interesting because this is going to be like my first kind of gameplay video besides uh, my Blade and Sorcery video I just did. Because I'm actually on my setup to play this instead. Instead of trying to record from the quest. I tried to... Oh, never mind. I guess that's what I say. Sounds something about battle time. Alright, let's get into it. Alrighty. There I am. I don't know. I'm going to have a hard time like trying to edit this video as an actual gameplay because... Rarely I can find this enjoyable on YouTube to watch besides just like commentary and trying to do this I get like some streamers do this while playing but like it's kind of hard to commentate and play at the same time And I just prefer to play you know And cancelled nice Ooh, yes squid ninja. I'm just gonna call it squid ninja because I do not like the other name of it Preferably I don't like the other special name even though I'm forgetting right now even though I'm making videos of it uh, I don't like the name of it. I kind of prefer Squid Ninja because it makes more sense because it looks like a ninja, you know? These videos might be just shorter, I don't know, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, because honestly, I don't know how to make the video of this besides just commentating and showing gameplay. Like, I don't know, it just, it's my first time kind of to this or how I feel about this, you know? Okay. That's a lot of missiles. That's a lot of missiles. One of the things I love about the this uh, uh, kit, I guess, is to be able to throw bombs up there to paint in areas I can't reach, so it makes it more perfect. And we won! I only just have a hard time like trying to make these into videos because it's just guy just kind of just gameplay then at the point, you know, like anyone can see that. But it's just like commentary is what makes it different for YouTube, you know, it's just like me commentating over this video because it's my gameplay and my commentary. But if I just like don't commentate and just show gameplay, it just kind of isn't fun to watch, you know? I think mostly people just like to watch these because of the, you know, commentary and the reactions and the, I guess, somewhat of the gameplay. Alright, wave two, even though this video might be short for you guys. Back to what I was saying though, like, as in gameplay, like, sure, this is fun to watch once in a while, but, like, I just like posting shorts of, like, me winning sometimes. And, like, some funny things, like, no one wants to watch that death compilation unless it's funny, you know what I mean? Oh, more bombs. There's more bombs, but I'm gonna blow them all up before they do. Wait, that didn't make sense. Whatever. I know, like, Splatoon 3 is gonna be lasting, like, for two years. I'm still kind of intrigued of how much content they're gonna put in the end and stuff, because this technically is already a lot. Like, seriously, we have badges, banners, tiles, table turf cards. We have new weapons coming and a bunch of other stuff in this game, and even more DLCs, which is kind of crazy. More than anything, I kind of wish for Splatoon to do is to, like put more challenging stuff, like as in like harder badges to earn and all that. As in like you know like uh, like only currently right now like one of the most challenging badges right now personally to me I think is the level, player level badge, which as you know it's only given to you at a certain level. Which the first one that you get is like what at level 30, then level 50, then level 100, and it goes all the way up to the maximum level of 999, which. I highly doubt anyone's gonna get that anytime soon. A really cool one I'm pretty sure they're working around is probably like Weapon Mastery or if they are or are not. I really wish they did. Like maybe if you collected all the weapons like as in like a certain subject as in like all the ink brushes or just you know all brushes in general then you know master all of them. That would be amazing. You know? Just to be able to like get all five stars on them and it shows off a badge saying like oh you got all the five stars on every brush you have. That would be kind of cool. Or like different badges, which I'm pretty sure I think there's rumors around this. I'm not fully sure. Again, you can barely believe in rumors. I just like to believe them because sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. You know, there's nothing like you're losing really besides just disappointment. I just really like to see like the uh, freshness badge that you get from Turf War and probably the ink badge. You know, like from Splatoon 2 when you actually like get a certain amount of ink points. That's why I kind of wish to see as badges to return. Be more challenging, you know? You know, the only other kind of videos I like doing though is like doing tutorials is because I like to help people because I always see questions out there that, you know, people want to ask and then you never look up, you know? And I don't really see many videos out here that's like, you know, proper, like, in English, you know? Like, telling about, like, how specials are and how they work and what's the benefits and things, all that. That's why I want to try to work around to make those videos, like, make shorts at least, so you don't have to, like, watch through a 10-minute video to learn about one special that you didn't want to know about. You know, like, at least you get to watch the one that you wanted to know about. Like, I don't know, like the Killer Whale, or the Trizuka, or the Bubbler, you know, like, something like that. Instead of trying to look through a 10-minute video to figure out which one's which. You know, a lot of times I don't really try to, like, intentionally to splat players, because I just prefer to paint, honestly. 
I know the whole objective is like defending and all that, but I just prefer to like the paint. But if you know I have to defeat the player, then so be it. And I know I don't really want to splat anyone because the fact that, well, it's supposed to be turf war, not kill zone, you know? You know what I really like about Splatoon 3 now is the fact that now you can actually put any abilities on the gear now and it's not just like stuck with the ability because in Splatoon 2 you were kind of stuck with the ability that's on the gear. Even though you like the gear very much, you're kind of stuck with that ability. At least now in this one you can actually change the main ability and you can actually put it whatever you want but at a very high cost though. I'm pretty sure it's like what 45 ability chunks which is very expensive. And I'm just only talking about this is because like I really do wish some cooler gear to come out later on. I don't know if they will surprise me with that or not, I guess. I really want to see like one of them being like a hoodie, you know, like an actual hoodie in the game that you can actually cover your like backside, you know, like actual like uh, pearls hoodie, you know, like this one. I'm up on the screen right now. And they for a win streak. All right, are we going to win? I hope so because there'll be five wins and literally this video will be only me winning in the matches. I don't know how. And like, I'm not even trying to cut it up to make me look good. Like, seriously, I'm just that averagely good in this game. It's just like, I don't know how that happens. Like, don't get me wrong, I still like get splatted in the game. It's just like, I know how to do the objective right. That's the only difference. Like, a lot of times players will only play the benefit just to... Okay, that's just a little ironic. I'm too focused on talking. Uh, like I said, like, people are just too focused on like, trying to kill the players like try to focus on the objective seriously it's not hard it really is not yeah just to me it always seems like people are always just focused on like just splatting each other and never just focusing on the objective like seriously it's all about the objective and don't get me wrong like you need to splat players when you have to but like a lot of times people always tend to forget the case where you have to... excuse me we saw that right like he was literally right next to the bomb because it kind of gets annoying when you have to play with players that just don't do anything but just trying to look for players to splat. Like, seriously, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I think this might be the match we actually lose in, but again, I don't want to, like, jinx it, so never want to do that. And I know how probably dumb this one would sound is because, uh, I know some people don't like this one, but, like, uh, Splashdown, you know, like, I really want that special to be come back as the multiplayer side. Like, I know it's in the game, like, there's a lot of specials left over in the game that isn't used. And one of them is Splashdown, and I really do wish that it can come back as the special that we can use. Mainly because I just prefer this on the inkbrush than it is just with the lasers. Don't get me wrong, the Killer Whale, the new one, is pretty overpowered because it can just pierce through all the map and deal a lot of damage over time. But, like, it's not fun to use, you know? I miss my splashdown because with it, you know, it's pretty useful. I can actually cover more area. Not only that, it makes me more movable, you know, like jumping in the air and trying to splash down or like surprise people and like squid jumping, you know? Honestly, I don't get why people do that. Like, I get it's part of the, ugh, I burped, oh. Um, I get it's part of the mechanics, but like, why would you squid jump in the middle of battle? Seriously, just never do that. Cause it's just gonna lead to just Instant death, because you know it's the middle of battlefield. You know you're gonna get spawn camped as soon as you jump. Even with squid roll, it's not gonna much save you when it's a bomb. Yeah, kind of figured. If I lost, I lost. Yeah, kind of figured. Like again, I don't really care about trying to kill players all the time because there's no badge for it. There's no reward for it. There's nothing about it besides just defending your base. Oh come on! Literally four points away. You know, Nintendo, or devs of Splatoon, whatever, they really should put more badges into the game, like, actually related to that. Like, instead of being like, uh, you know, like, so like, Salmon Run. You know, like, you get a, a certain amount of splats for killing, uh, the, the special kind of, like, Salmon in the game, you know, like, that kind of stuff. There really should be, like, one for the multiplayer side, like, uh, getting a thousand splats, then getting a uh, ten thousand splats, then, you know, moving on and on. That would be interesting. Cause I'm pretty sure throughout your lifetime in this game, obviously getting like a hundred splats is gonna be easy. But getting a thousand? I don't know about that. Cause that might take a little while, you know? Like how interesting would it be, or kind of like scary would it be, really, if you saw a player with like, oh, a badge that says that he has a thousand splats. You know, like, it makes it sound challenging. I don't know, just like ideas, you know? I just like throwing ideas out there that maybe could possibly be a badge. I know some of them are just rumors out there, but still, I like talking about them, you know? Because it's always a possibility. Honestly, like, the only time I really try sometimes is, like, during rank X or, like, uh, well, sometimes it's, like, rank mode, but, like, barely. 
I mostly just play rank mode for casual now. Like, I don't care to try that much because I don't care about getting, like, S plus 50 because every time now it's just going to reset you. And that's what I like about this one because, like, like, now rank mode is more of a casual game mode now, you know? I don't care. Wait, what? Okay, we all saw that, right? That guy needs to go because his internet sucks. You know, like, let me know in the video below, just like in the description. No, joking. I'm talking about the, like the comments, all right? Let me know in the comments if you actually really do watch me play this, or even if you like watching gameplay like this, or just commentary like this, because I have no idea. I really don't know. I don't feel like posting this, unless it's like story-based kind of games, or I don't know, kind of games I like like to play once off the channel, you know? Also to mention, uh, no, I'm not a Splatoon YouTuber. If you like to call me that, I don't mind, I don't care. Uh, it, just because I play the game often doesn't mean that's my channel based around it, alright? Like, cause I just like joining this game, alright? It's just like, very fun to play. But like, it doesn't mean I'm a Splatoon YouTuber, cause I like playing other games besides just this, you know? This is probably gonna be my like, last match of the video before I end it, cause I've been recording for like 40 minutes. Also, for some players out there, I know they play like, goddamn like, hours of this game. Like, seriously, you don't need to be like, spending hours of a day trying to play this game. Ironically says me because I play this sometimes like hours a day because I have nothing better to do. You know, one thing I really do want in this game is an offline mode. Seriously. Like, play against bots. I know, like, Nintendo has their reasons behind this because, unfortunately, they do know there's gonna be cheers in this game and I don't know. I really don't know what the main reason is. I just know some Nintendo usually don't put, like, single player games out there because even, like, in Animal Crossing, it's kind of like a, similar, a single player game. Yet, they have cheaters in that game, and then that's why they pre try to prevent that. But, like, it's kind of crazy to me that some people don't believe the fact that there is cheaters in that game. Like, there really is. They don't care. They would take the time to get, like, infinite amount of bells and get all the construction done. Even though there's literally no competition in it at all, no competitive, just, like, their own self-reason to just cheat the game just to act like they have infinite amount. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind if they're, like, cheating a single-player game, but when it comes to multiplayer, I get it, but, like, Again, the only multiplayer side of it is just like barely anything. Just to show off the buildings you have. There's nothing competitive about it. There's no reward in it. But yeah, they really should be like adding like a single player in this game. Because honestly, like playing online all the time is kind of annoying. But like nothing wrong with it. It's just like I like to play offline sometimes against bots in practice, you know? And just like in case you're like, I don't know, you're playing on the road, I guess. I'm not saying like while you're driving, but like as in like if you're the passenger or the kid in the back seat or on a bus. You should be able to play this in like an offline mode instead of being forced to be coming online and just to play this, you know? Same thing with the, uh, like, uh, sound around as well. There really should be like a single player mode or like trying to go against solo or like go against with bots. So you can actually like play as a team with bots so you can survive better. And then I know the game, I know Nintendo or some people think it's not possible, but it's definitely possible because even like in the tutorial of it, there was like bots with it. I'm pretty sure it's possible. And plus with the single player mode, it's definitely possible. Anyways, again, I just kind of hope you enjoyed this video, if you did or not, and I don't know, I don't care. Anyways, see ya.